From 1950 to 1953, the U.S. Air Force would drop 635,000 tons of bombs on Korea, which is four times the amount dropped on Japan in World War II, including the two atomic bombs. In fact, according to the U.S. Air Force's own estimates, the destruction of Korea was actually greater than that of Japan after the atomic bombs. In 1984, Curtis LeMay, head of the Strategic Air Command during the Korean War, would admit, over a period of three years or so, we killed off, what, 20% of the population? The official policy was targeting civilians, or as the U.S. Air Force put it, bringing the war to the people. Every standing structure in North Korea would be a target. When they ran out of stuff to bomb, they bombed the dams to flood crops, targeting the food supply. The Air Force would even brag about it. The smashing of the dams meant primarily the destruction of their chief sustenance, rice. The loss of this staple food for the Asian means starvation and slow death. 